Hey everybody. This uh, video is just kind of a off the cuff rant type video um, regards to things that cost way more money than I can see justified in spending on something. What this uh, part you're looking at here on the ground is, is the grill to my heating and cooling system um, is the uh, support and the grill for the condenser fan motor which bolts to the center of this hub with the little plus sign in the center and it hangs uh, the motor above the condenser and blows the air through the condenser coils or draws the air through depending which way it's spinning anyway had the technician out to service the system he informed us that the grill was cracked and I assume what happened is over the winter we had a nice snow event a couple months back and I believe during the night I guess the ice and snow must have built up on the condenser cooling fan uh, blades which caused uh, the thing to be way out of balance and it started up during the night time and I know you're probably saying well why do you have the air conditioning on at night in the winter but uh, actually what this unit does is you can reverse the Freon flow and make a heat pump out of it so that the warmth that normally would be expelled outside through the condenser coil in the summer um, becomes reversed and you're actually taking the heat and putting it into a condenser coil that is inside your furnace unit and blowing the air over it. It works okay. I'm not a fan of heat pumps and this is one of the reasons why because in the winter time you should not have something like this in operation. There is a switch for emergency heat which has some heating strips in the furnace and it disables the compressor unit and the fan. But I was sleeping during the night and didn't realize we were having such a uh, amount of ice buildup. So anyway, it basically what it did is put stress cracks. Sorry about the fingers and the shadows here. I've already cut this center hub out um, to use to fabricate something else. But what it did is it basically had put stress cracks all along the perimeter where this plate is there to uh, hold the motor, suspend the motor over the condenser. And basically, if you look at it, it's nothing more than some cheap steel, thin steel, that's been stamped and louvers put into. Well, when the technician told us how much it was going to cost, I almost fell over. They want $330 for this part. And I questioned them, I said, is that with the fan and the motor? And uh, no, it's just for the grill. I am like, I don't know. I don't see $330 worth of uh, materials there. I mean, unless this is gold plated underneath and I didn't notice it under the paint. I'm being facetious here. But, I mean, you know, somebody that works every day and it's not rich... I mean, how can you justify spending what you'd probably clear almost for a week's worth of work for a piece of junk like this? So, what I did is I took the top of the condenser unit off and I have fabricated my own brace support to go over the opening and to hang the motor by and it's pretty much done now I have a little bit more to do and I apologize if the quality of this video is not that good I'm using my phone and what I have done is I've used all stainless steel hardware this is a Lundman, uh L stock and it's all stainless hardware and you can't really see maybe from this angle you can see I've put rubber bushings in to help isolate any vibration from the uh, fan to the housing so the only other thing left to do is I know I got to put some kind of a safety screen over this which I already have something in mind 
but I just can't believe that they would charge $330 for a piece of crap. Pardon my French. So, there you go. That's my answer to $350 for something that's not worth it. I'll make something up myself, which I did. And I am going to cut the cross beams down a little bit further. I just wanted to have enough material to work with and I could trim it down later. So, I'm about done. Got to bolt the rest of these up. Run the wires through the hole in the side here. There's also a piece of like conduit type plastic conduit that goes to the fitting on the motor that the wires run through and goes through this hole. So this should work and I'll be back in business and for about maybe $25 in parts for hardware, stainless steel hardware and some of the scrap aluminum I had laying around. I'll have air conditioning again. But uh, I don't know. I just don't understand how a company can justify charging somebody $330. And I don't mean the company that came out to service this, because I've looked online. And uh, the company that I'm referring to, I won't use their name by um, name, but uh, they advertise that they're hard to stop. So. I guess some snow and ice can stop them, but uh, otherwise they're hard to stop. Anyway, uh, I just couldn't see paying that for something that's not worth that. Not whatsoever. So, that's my rant for today. Just, uh, just letting off some steam here and venting. You know, I wonder if anybody else has had experiences with uh, overpriced parts and they came up with a way to... Uh, fix it themselves so anyway everybody take care thanks for listening to me kind of moan and bone about it and uh, you'll have a good day take care